Hi, guys. This is Lanky Sheet the 2D Ninja. Today, instead of discussing another problem in the GoAnimate community, I'm going to discuss about my Superstars of the Multiverses project. I'm doing this video because I suspect that some of you have some questions about the Superstars of the Multiverses project and its movies, so I will try my best to answer them. So, one question I suspect people will ask me about the Superstars of the Multiverses project is why the entire project and its movies made in GoAnimate Vine? Why won't I make the Superstars of the Multiverses project a sprite project? Okay, I have already made an opening for the Superstars of the Multiverses project and released the first 18 parts to the video game Revengers, the Terror of Midby movie. I made them in GoAnimate Vine and decided not to do sprite animation to do the project and its movies for three main reasons. For the first reason, I admit that my Superstars of the Multiverses project is inspired by Super Mario Bros., Z and various other fictional franchises. However, from what I have seen from Mark Ames, Space P, and other sprite animators who have done Super Mario Bros., Z and other series that are inspired by Super Mario Bros., Z. They use Adobe Flash to make their videos and episodes for their respective series. When Flat 2D Dimensional Studios Productions, aka Nasty Zog, got a toxic hatter base back on October 2022. One of the comments he got was that he should use Adobe Flash to make his videos. When Nasty Zog got that comment, he confirmed that he tried using Adobe Flash to make his videos, and he also confirmed that he is not good at using Adobe Flash to make videos. After I saw the Hatter Base Nasty Zog received, I was not happy at all. Same with Nasty Zog, I tried using Adobe Flash to make my videos and ended up having bad results, so I gave up. Second, the superstars of the Multiverses project and its movies will not be sprite animated because sprite animation for the project will take decades to complete. Because of that, Sid James told me that GoAnimate is a good option for me when it comes to making the Superstars of the Multiverses project and its movies, and I agree with him. And lastly, I planned on putting many characters and all of the characters that appeared in the cartoon crossover Avengers, in game credits style video in the project. But I couldn't find sprites for all of the characters I decided to put in the project. Take a look at these characters here. These six characters are the main protagonists for the Superstars of the Multiverses project and its movies. Their names are Mario, Sonic, Thomas, Twilight Sparkle, Kirby, and Tawny. Now, when it comes to sprites, I was able to find sprites for Mario, Sonic, Twilight Sparkle, Kirby, and various characters from their respective franchises. But for Thomas and Tawny, I could not find sprites for them or any of the characters from their respective franchises. I also want you to take a look at this character here. This guy is the main villain of the Superstars of the Multiverses project. His name is Mid-B. Credit goes to Super Mario Plush for this character. Was I able to find sprites for him? No, I couldn't find sprites for Mid-B at all. I could not find sprites for any of Mid-B's brothers either. And with Mid-B being the main villain of the Superstars of the Multiverses project, I decided that these five characters are few of the characters that would have big roles here. The names of these characters from left to right are Serena Basil, Hanzo, Levi Shang, Bull Glitter, and Chip Alexander. I own Serena, Hanzo, Levi, and Book. But Chip belongs to the Shite Guy. Credit goes to him for his Shite Guy OC character, by the way. It's explained in the first video game or Avengers movie why Serena and Book would have big roles in the project, but you'll see why Levi, Chip, and Hanzo would have big roles. And no, these five characters are not the only ones who have big roles in my Superstars of the Multiverses project. Was I able to find sprites for any of these characters? The answer is no. I was not able to find sprites for any of these characters here. I don't feel like making sprites for Serena, Hanzo, Levi book, or any of my characters. I also had difficulty finding sprites for Chip. Also, don't get me started on using 3D models for characters just to animate this project because again, doing that would take decades to complete. And so, here is my answer to this question.
Another question I suspect people will be asking me is why I'm making Mid be the main villain of the superstars of the multiverses project instead of Dark Bowser? Mid be didn't appear in the cartoon crossover Avengers and game credit style video, while Dark Bowser did. You can clearly see that this is me when it comes to choosing the main villain for the superstars of the multiverses project. Yes, Dark Bowser, Diesel 10, Voy Termina, and the other three members of the heavy inevitable Thanos team, which are Infinite, Grogger, and Ark Barney, will serve as secondary antagonists in the superstars of the multiverses project. However, I have my reasons on choosing Midby over Dark Bowser when it comes to being the main villain. While I like the idea of Dark Bowser, Infinite, Diesel 10, Grogger, Voy Termina, Dark Barney, Zyamara, and their friends being secondary antagonists in this project. I have a few reasons on making Midby the main villain of the superstars of the multiverse's project and its movies. For the first reason, I wanted to choose a villain who would be a greater threat to the heroes than the heavy inevitable Thanos would. Super Mario Plush, the creator of Midby already confirmed to me that Midby created Grogger, who is one of the six members of the heavy inevitable Thanos team. In addition, Super Mario Plush told me that even though Midby is even more evil than Dark Bowser and the rest of the members of the heavy inevitable Thanos team. Sid James told me that Dark Bowser is supposed to be portrayed the same as Thanos in the Superstars of the Multiverses project. And Thanos is not pure evil, so Dark Bowser won't either. And for the second reason on why I chose Midby as the main villain of the Superstars of the Multiverses project. It's because choosing him to be the main villain leaves room for more character development. In my opinion, choosing Dark Bowser as the main villain instead of Midby could lead to me missing opportunities to develop characters and perhaps tell backstories about them. As Super Mario Plush and I explained before, even though Midby and his brothers are Super Mario Plush is my little pony OCS. Midby and his army traveled across fictional multiverses and messed around with various characters, including Pythia, my Kirby OC. And now, here is my answer to this question. Another question I suspect people will ask me about this project is if I don't like the mid BX Quarrel Spite couple. Then why did I put the couple in the first video gamer Avengers movie? I have already warned that there would be controversial couples in the Superstars of the Multiverses project and its movies. I've also already warned that there would be some couples in my project and movies that even I don't like. In fact, some creators of different fictional franchises have a history of making couples they don't like canon in their works of art. Super Mario Plush is the owner of Mid-B, while I'm the owner of Quarrel Spite. Even though Mid-B x Quarrel Spite is a bad ship to me and Super Mario Plush. It was already confirmed from Super Mario Plush that Mid-B forcing Quarrel Spite to marry him is supposed to be part of the backstory. Why Midby forced Quarrel Spite to marry him was already revealed, but it will be explained again in a future part of the video game Revengers, The Terror of Midby. In addition, showing scenes of all of the things Midby did to Quarrel Spite wouldn't be suitable for viewers under the age of 18, and I don't want my project to be rated R. Now, here is the answer. The next question coming up is why did I add a fusion of Thomas and Twilight Sparkle in the thumbnail and trailer of the video game Revengers, The Terror of Midby? First, while trains would not fall in love with ponies in real life, I have already warned that there would be controversial ships in the project that you would like or dislike. It is inevitable that there would be things that don't make sense in the fictional world. Yes, I am fine with some Thomas XMLP couples. But there are some Thomas XMLP couples that I actually hate. I'll get onto that some other time. Anyways, I put a fusion of Thomas and Twilight Sparkle in the trailer and thumbnail of the first video game Revengers movie because 
Sid James sent me Thomas Ann and friends characters in their pony forms on Discord, which made it easy for me to make fusions of Thomas and MLP characters without adding tires as legs. Secondly, even if nobody made Thomas Ann and friends characters in their pony forms, and in all hybrid characters have existed even before my little pony, friendship is magic premiered. And so, here's the answer. Finally, the last question I'm going to cover in this video is what will I do in case if Nasty Zob decides to add my first video game or Avengers movie to his Resaga story? In case if that happens, all I'm going to do is allow him to add a movie to his Resaga story. However, in case if I decide to make a second movie for the Superstars of the Multiverses project, he'll also have to add to the video game or Avengers, Titans of Time movie as well. Yes, the video game Revengers, Titans of Time is the new name I have decided for the second movie I have planned. So, here is the answer to this question. Thank you for watching this video. I tried the best I could to answer some of the questions you have about the superstars of the Multiverses project and its movies. I'll answer more questions about this project some other time. This is Lanky Sheet the 2D Ninja, signing off.